Hey everyone, uh, gonna get started here in a minute or two. Well, really we're getting started right now is what we're trying to say. But, uh, you know, the getting started thing uh, takes a minute or two. So we are started, but still getting started. Um, gonna make some noise here because you're gonna be interested to see that we're just making some colored batter. So this one is carrot that's being blended up here, so we're going to work on that. I think that's good and blended right there. All right. We are gonna need some more uh, some more batter, so we're just working on the batter. Then we'll start frying. Okay. So. Put a cup of flour. This is the standard pancake recipe right here. So a cup of flour, and where's my teaspooner? Two teaspoons of baking powder. And a teaspoon of salt. So we're gonna have to find the salt. Oh, we're gonna need an egg in this one here too. So the good thing about doing the batter in the blender, and this is not the whole thing, but this is the liquid part. We have milk and carrot already in here. So carrot I, I, I uh, shredded. And then, um, oh, you want to see me bigger here? Hold on a second. There we go. So the carrot here, we blend it up. But then we added some milk, but then we pureed it in here. So anyways, you got to get it good and smooth. And the reason is because we're going to put it in one of these. And I've had the trouble before where some pieces get stuck in the end there. I don't know if you can see, it's a pretty pretty tight nozzle. And so we're going to make sure it's good and blended. So we're at cracking egg. And you're going to want to see this. You're going to want to drop the egg right in. Right into the blender. And then you get your egg and your milk. And your oil. And we, where's the compost bin? It's over here. I don't know if you can see it over here. You probably can can't see it. it's squeezing in on the end here I took the lid off and I'm gonna put the egg in the compost bin get a couple tea tablespoons of oil so this is finishing off the batter here that looks pretty good and we're gonna blend it up And it's just an egg, so it doesn't take much. And then we, uh, so here's, so here's the, uh, here's the dry ingredients, but there's no sugar I want to stress. Well, there is sugar, so here's the thing. So I took a cup of flour and two t teaspoons of baking powder and a teaspoon of salt and I put it in here, but I didn't add any sugar. That's the fourth dry ingredient. And instead what I'm counting on is the sugar that's in the fruit and the veggies. So this is carrot that's pureed with egg and milk and, and uh, oil. This one here is completed batter. It's the same thing, but it has peach in it instead of carrot. And this one here is completed batter but it's spinach instead of carrot. And we'll see if we get around to the beets. We might not. We might not get around to the beets. We might just skip it and head right to the end. But that's okay. Where is Kim? This comment probably came in like five minutes ago. Where is Kim? Kim is walking ginger. If you don't know, ginger is our little chihuahua. There's no big chihuahuas in the world. But she's our chihuahua. And um, 
Kim will be back with Ginger soon. All right. Um, good, I answered a question. Okay, uh, we got to get our whisk. And then you want to add the wet into the dry and give it a good mix around. So the consistency might be a bit off because I'm kind of going, oh, you can't see what's going on here. See, this is why I had two cameras set up, but the one's just doing there looking at nothing. So we're going to bring it over. All right. So here we go. So here we're at, we're um, mixing the wet into the dry. Now the consistency could be a bit off because I've really gone rogue here. I've just added in carrot and really blended it up. Oh, and I have some carrot juice. I forgot to say too. Here's some carrot juice. I, took, I, I uh, took it out of the shredded carrot earlier and we'll give that a stir. But I think we're going to need a bit more wet in here. You can just tell. Anyways, I think it's going to be close to time to, to fry pretty soon. Um, just trying to imagine dropping that in the pan. I think we need a little bit more more milk. So in case you didn't know, this is oat milk. It's actually vanilla flavored oat milk. But there's un it's unsweetened, so I don't know what that... I mean, I guess they took some oats and they made it into milk and they added vanilla. They didn't add any sugar. That's what that means. Okay. So we're going to add a little bit in there. And after a couple pancakes, you kind of get a feel for it too. We can add a bit more flour, add a bit more milk if we need to. So, well, this looks a bit runny now, but it's okay. So, uh, good stuff. There we go. We got three batters. So in case you, you missed it, here is, um, here is the carrot batter. Now, this is, this, this is the peach batter here. That one, uh, it looks similar here. I hope to, oh, I might have to add some color to it. No, we won't do that. Um, and then here's the spinach one. So, you know, why don't we just go ahead and try something out here? Um, I had this food processor ready right here um, to do a beet. And the beet was going to add some color. But in lieu of that... I think we will just, we will go without the beat. Uh-oh, you want to look at me here. You will go without the beat. So let's move this over here. Let's take the blade out of the food processor so no one gets hurt. Um, it's not plugged in, but, you know, safety first. And uh, let's get our camera set up where we need it to do some frying. So um, this is... Well, no, we're just going to use, I'm just, all I wanted to say is that we're going to use an electric frying pan. Um, and we can zoom in on it too here, so don't worry. It's a bit far away. You're looking like from heaven or something at the electric frying pan, but. Okay. Uh, find a way to zoom in here. Well, I already know how, but okay. Well, I just wanted to welcome uh, all the viewers to uh, to pancake art because this is where it all begins right here. We have a few batters, so let me let me show you. Oh no, we're gonna zoom in. Hold on. Well, we already said we were gonna start. Well, we'll start. So here's the carrot batter for pancakes. And here are two other batters for pancakes. We have a peach batter and a spinach batter. And the peach and, and carrot, in hindsight, look pretty similar. Um, but that's okay. We're kind of experimenting here. So all you do is uh, you take a batter and you want to grab a funnel. I'll grab a couple and you just want to funnel it in and this is how we're going to have some precision precision uh, frying so we're going to put the funnel on top and we're just going to go for it uh, we'll see what happens I mean I've had the, the problem happen before where the batter gets too thick to go through the nozzle um, so let's hope that doesn't happen 
Um, you know, well, already here it's not going. Oh no, look at this. Oh, there we go, no problem. Give it a little shake. So you see there it's going in. It's going in slow, I guess. It should pour it in. That's the way. You live and learn, you know? You you make pancakes and learn. And um this one too, this is gonna this is gonna get real something. I don't know here. Um grab one of these. Oh, there's pancake batter on the floor pancake batter on the counter there's pancake batter in the pan that's not supposed to be there yet um that's okay oh this is going very well actually now so we're pouring the carrot batter into a squeeze bottle um these squeeze bottles by the way are courtesy mark van Egmond. um they were a christmas present i know that was really good good christmas present thanks mark shout out to mark Okay. Um, and uh, I'm gonna put a lid on this one. I'm gonna do the same thing with the other two bottles, the other two batters. So there's one. Let's do another one here. That's getting pretty warm. Oh, no. Okay. No, it's okay. It's not bad. This is the peach batter. I think when the peach batter fries and when the carrot batter fries, it'll look sub substantially different from each other. It's enough for now. We'll, I mean, we'll, we'll fry the stuff that's left in here. I'm just not going to put it in the bottle. And uh, so we're going to close this guy up. Um, and I'll, I'll get you caught up to speed in one second here if you missed the intro. Um, I mean, it wasn't much of an intro per se, but, uh, if you missed, you know, like the beginning part, um, I'll, uh, I'll explain what's going on here. You I mean, you probably know what's going on. It's not that complicated, but you might want to see exactly what I have set up here. So let's get a third one in place. This is spinach, spinach batter. So we're going to. See if we can get it right in. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that right there. It's pretty good. Oh, that was a real good pour. All right, I'll be better at it next time. So, now we have three batters. Let's see here. We have um, this one is a peach batter. They all look the same color to me on the screen. This is a spinach batter. Okay, peach and spinach. And then we have a carrot batter, which is a bit of a darker, darker orange. So now we're ready to fry. So let me get some clutter out of the way here. And... Let's start frying, okay. Thank you also for the request for, uh, for pancakes. Um, Doing pancakes today is is partially in response to that request. I uh, might have been inclined to do pancakes anyways, but um, the request was helpful, so I uh, kind of affirmed my suspicions that pancakes were a good way to go for uh, you know, just in general, just a good way to go. Um, so let's see if we can zoom in here. Oh, I have no doubt that we can. And, uh, we'll just go like this. I 
me. We can even flip the focus here. I'm sure that'll be good. And, uh, uh-oh, there we go. Get it lined up nice. So here's our pan. We're gonna add some oil and we'll start making some art. What are you making on your first pancake? That is a great question. You know, suggestions are welcome, um, but I think the first pancake uh, will be something simple. I was thinking um, uh, the Eiffel Tower, like uh, Big Ben or something, um, Mona Lisa, something classy but simple, you know? No, maybe like a butterfly or a flower. Um, so here's our tool of choice. We're going to get some oil. It's a little it's a little that way because I uh I added some water to it by accident. Like that, but that's okay. And uh, let's start. So green is a good color. Jackson Pollock inspired pancake. I don't know what that means. Sorry, guys. I'm not that up with the uh, popular things. Um, okay. So I'm just going for it, and we're going to see what it looks like. So this is a really big, this is a really thick stem on the flower. Oh, Ginger appeared. Hey, Ginger. Ginger's gonna distract us from pancake making, but that might be okay. Um, ginger, oh, she ran away. She'll be back. Um, there should be a ginger cam ready. Um, let's see, is it gonna work? Oh, okay. Have to fix that. Um, and uh, oh, welcome back from the walk. People have been requesting you nonstop. It's Kim. Hooray. Okay, oh, we got it. Okay, so focus on the flower. The stem is, is already cooking pretty good. So we're just going to add uh, the outline. And then we'll add a little circle in the middle for, I don't know if flowers actually look like this, but that's what I always imagine. And we'll fill it in here. Can I feed her? Oh yeah, let's feed Ginger. Are you uh, uh, yeah, the ginger cam isn't working. Um, it was working earlier. I probably just did something wrong. Um, could you just make sure the f screen is on on that phone? I'm using phones for webcams. That's a re reveal, the grand reveal. It's waiting for the connection. It's waiting for the connection. Is it connected to the to the Wi-Fi? Like to the... It's connected to the basement. I'm going to try a regular one. Oh, it should be connected to the basement one. Well, it was, but it wasn't working. Oh, I, okay. Well, we should... Well, okay, it's, connected to the basement. it's connected to the basement. Well, ginger cam has stopped working. That's a real shame. Um, okay, so now we got to flip the stem. We got to flip the whole pancake altogether, ideally. Oh, we can still save this. So that's a pretty bad first attempt. It's kind of like cauliflower and broccoli combined, which is odd because they're already like part of the same family. But um, oh well. Um, I guess we could just watch Ginger. Um, I'm just. It smells connected. Oh. oh, it's connected to what? Well, it's connected to the right Wi-Fi. Oh, did I open the right app? It's yeah. called. <laughs> yeah yeah something like that okay so the while the flower is is cooking on the other side we should think of something else to draw and uh i made an egg yeah it's like a fried egg with a green stem wonderful um okay yeah let's restart the app Okay, see, another thing I've had trouble with here before is the consistency of the, the batter when you add stuff to it. Um, is there something on your end that you would like to get the webcam to come through with? Oh.
The ginger cam, it's active. Now the views will go up by millions. Hi, Absolutely. Hi. Look, ginger cam, aww. And also on the side we're making pancakes over here. Um, well, I think this flour is pretty well done, so I'm gonna take it out, including the stem, of course. Um, as you can see, the stem totally came with it. And so there's ginger cam, and ginger is about to eat if I understand. Are you hungry? So it's kind of like us, and probably all you guys. Um, okay, we're going to hurry up our game now. Um, we got to make sure we can see Ginger well. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, it's okay. There we go. I'm just getting her set up. Okay. Jackson Pollock. What does Jackson Pollock even mean? Is he an artist? He's probably an artist. Jackson Pollock. Now look, I'm Googling Jackson Pollock. Painter, these are images. I'm just seeing pictures of Jackson Pollock. Oh, oh wow, it's so limey and famous. Intriguing. You should okay. be an art critic. <laughs> so, the audio is coming from Ginger Cam now. Oh, oh no. Yeah, that was my bad. The audio was coming from the ginger cam. See, I know, I know why that happened. It's because I was being fancy with all the settings. These things have settings, you know. So, anyways, I. Okay, now you can. Well, we want to see ginger. Did you see her? Now we can see ginger and hear me. Is it a good setup? It's a good setup, but we want ginger to look bigger. There we go. Aww, ginger's eating. Okay. Well, pancakes are really taking a back seat for a moment. I'm sorry to all the loyal viewers. Um, well, let's make, let's make something else that's simple, the Muggle Jackson Pollock level. Um, he, and Jackson Pollock is an artist for anyone who doesn't know. Um, okay. So I think we should try, uh, we already did a flower. We should try a butterfly. These are just, these are just basic warm-up um, drawings, of course. And this is the standard cartoon butterfly. It's a little, um, little wobbly on the edges. Sorry about that, everyone. Okay. Butterfly has antennas because it's an insect. I don't know if that doesn't make any sense, but that's fine. Um, we'll do a line down the middle for the body. And butterflies have fancy designs sometimes. This is the Jackson Pollock wings. Um, kind of look, I don't know what it looks like. Jackson Pollock, Jackson Pollock, Jackson Pollock, Jackson Pollock. There we go. And we'll fill it in. And it's, it'll be kind of cool when we'll be able to see, um, we'll be able to see this the design that I just drew on the, on the top when we flip it over, but it's going to get covered over here, which is kind of neat, I think. So... I just want everyone to appreciate how I'm responding to comments now. That was a big improvement. And, um, sorry, that was a little bit um, bold and um, self-focused. But uh, I thought that was a good improvement in my streaming game. Um, uh, because now I can see comments as I stream. I thought that was, like, I felt like a technological Oh, you know, I just mastered this technology. Like, unbelievable. Just so skilled. Um, oh, Ginger is licking Kim's face. So we're going to give give the butterfly a few seconds yet, and then we'll give the butterfly a flip. Uh, so let's... Oh, Ginger. That's so cute. Um... Okay, well, time to flip back here. Um, so, um, and by flip, I mean flip, right? So, oh, no. <laughs> you don't want to see this. <laughs> it's a two-part flip. Oh, no. Oh, 
I'm an amateur pancake artist. The truth is out for all to see plainly with their own eyes. You haven't done it too many times. No, I haven't done pancake art that much, but imagine if this was all one piece. Imagine how good this would look. Wow. That's that looks like a butterfly that didn't have a good life. It's a Jackson Pollock butterfly. <laughs> oh, that's you know what? You know, it's okay. I think we should zoom in more. Probably supposed to figure this out before you start, but it's okay. Didn't zoom in that much, I zoom in more. Okay, that's pretty good. And then we'll make sure we have it lined up. So, well, the butterfly will be fun to eat. So I would encourage you, if you ever have too much pancake batter, just blend up some spinach in the blender with some milk and then add to the pancake batter and then um, balance it out with like, you know, more dry ingredients. And then um, you have you have pancake batter. So this was a butterfly that failed. Just want to welcome all the new viewers um, and uh, get you up to speed here. So this here is a peach pancake batter. So I didn't add any white sugar or any brown sugar, or, you know, that kind of thing. What I did was I, I'm just relying on the, the sugar uh, that's in the peach. So I, I blended up some peach so it's kind of pureed so it's a liquid and added to the pancake batter. We have some carrot pancake batter as the same idea. And you have some spinach pancake batter. Spinach goes really well in the blender. The trouble with the carrot pancake batter is that sometimes it can, um, sometimes the carrot can get be a little chunky still. and um, and then it, when you try to squeeze it through the nozzle, it's not a very big nozzle and it ends up clogging it. So I really tried to blend it up good. And uh, here's the, a flower that we made. It's kind of sad. Yeah, sad flower. And then we're going to add this butterfly, which will taste better than it looks, to our plate. And um, these, these colors are pretty vivid to me, but on the screen they look a little bit uh, pale. But this is supposed to be a bit greener than it is. Um, that's okay. So I think now we should do a whole scene. I think that's the next step in our evolution of pancake art. So by that, I mean we're going to just go ahead and make a green background. Um, and this scene will evolve as we go. So what does a green background... A green background could be like a green screen. Right, so we'll make a green screen, and we'll, we will um, make some art depicting people acting in front of a green screen. This just got way more complex. Okay. So this is green, in case you guys can't see. Um, well, it's pretty green. And we'll add some more green. And so it's a round green screen. Um, why would they have a round green screen? Maybe it's a three-dimensional green screen. It's like a sphere. But in our world, you just see it in 2D. And then we're going to have some actors acting in front of it. We're going to have Jason Pollock painting in front of a green screen. That's perfect. Um, Jackson. Jackson Pollock. Oh, my. He's so famous. Of course. I knew that. Um Okay, so um, now, okay, uh, I just use my left hand, then we can have a better angle at it. Okay, so now we're going to, oh my goodness, the pressure's on. We have a three-dimensional green screen projected in two dimensions, and now we need to draw things on it. <sighs> okay, I'm going to draw Jack, uh, Jackson Pollock first. So here's his head. I actually don't really know what he looks like. I think he's bald. No, I mean, I don't know. I have no idea what he looks like. Okay, I'm going to do a stick figure, Jackson Pollock. That's Jackson Pollock. You can't even see. Okay, we need to zoom in more. Is that excessive? Let me know if it's excessive. I think that's good. Um, can you see Jackson Pollock is right there and then we need his thing that he's painting on 
He's probably painting on a canvas. A cube a cube canvas projected in two dimensions is a square, which is why it looks like this. And then needs to have a stand. So that's the canvas. He needs a paintbrush. I need more colors. I should have done the beat. And um, that's his paint. It's like a wand. It's like a long arm. It's just, it doesn't look like anything. And there's this paintbrush reaching onto the canvas. And he's drawing, he's drawing green on the canvas. And then we need a stand for the canvas because even in the higher dimensional worlds, they still have gravity, as everyone knows. So this is a masterpiece in case you didn't know. There was a, re oh no. There was a request for some Jackson Pollock art or a Jackson Pollock inspired pancake. So this is it. This is Jackson Pollock and he's, drawing on art on a canvas it's like meta art it's like inception art right like this i'm doing art right now and i drew someone doing art and the person who i drew is an artist the layers go deep and now we're going to flip it i think this one might turn out the best okay hopefully that wasn't jackson pollock and um Actually, I think we should inspect the back of the previous pancakes. That didn't look very good at all, actually. Maybe we should inspect the back of this pancake. Yeah, it's all one color. Well, let's not do that. Um, gonna rinse my hands off here. So while Jackson Pollock's cooking, we're just kind of, um, you know, waiting and meditating on the nature of art and uh, about to uh, about to flip it over and we'll see what, what it looks like. Hopefully it's not too soon. Do you think it's too soon? Oh, I see now. When you flip it over and it goes all askew, that's when it looks like Jackson Pollock art. Now I understand the nature of art. Okay. Hey, that's pretty good. Okay. So I want everyone to be able to see this here. So this is an impression of Jackson Pollock. And this is his art. It, it's so right. It's so right. So this is the canvas, by the way. The canvas is fine. But then the art got skewed and it went up there. It went outside the boundary, right? Like art, def like we tried to give art a boundary. You see the boundary of the pancake there? That's the art boundary. And it just defied it. Jackson Pollock said no. I should have given him an eye. But Jackson Pollock said no. He said, no, we're going to paint. And look at that color blend. This is beautiful. And it went, he said, no, we're going out. And that like, wow. I am, I am deeply moved. I'm not even kidding, actually. That's actually wonderful. Well, I think we've kind of probably peaked for the show. We're probably all going to go downhill from here. But um, that, like, I, I don't even want to eat this. This is like the Jesus toast, but pancake version. Um, I think oil is still good. I added quite a bit the first time. And that was a nice wave. I'm just feeling creative right now. That was a wave right there of oil. And up there too. Okay, I think Kim has gonna kind of come look at the Jackson Pollock art. And the thing is you can't see it on one side. I have to just think about this even more. See that? It doesn't even look like anything. It looks like a regular pancake. It's true. It does. Right. This is the green one. by So it looks like nothing. But at a closer look, wow. Like, wow, 
Art I know. really is all about perspective. Art is all about perspective. That's wise words from Kim. Any other wise words? Sorry, you can't force them, I know. And you want to see, everyone wants to see Kim. Okay, can well. I try one? Oh, yeah, you can try one. Can you not eat the Jackson Pollock one no, yet? No, I meant try making one. Oh, Kim's going to try. Well, here, the show is just going to go uphill from here. Like, <laughs> in terms of getting better. Do you want the mic, too? No. Oh, okay, so Kim's going to go micless, but um, but artful. If you want more oil, let me know. So she's gone. She's chosen the carrot one as her first choice. Carrot batter. Whoa. Oh, you got a clog. A clog. Hold on. We got the remedy for this. Do we? What what is our remedy again? Is it a we don't have any toothpicks. If anyone wants to donate to the show, you can donate toothpicks. Did you get it out? I got it. That was good. Can I guess what you're making? Yep. Are you making pizza? No. Nope. Oh yeah. Nice. See how meta that is? This is really meta. That was what Kim said, by the way. I just repeated it in the mic. You drew a carrot using carrot batter. That's wonderful. Do you have any comments? Any comments from the artist? You are what you eat. You want to say that again? They probably heard you. You are what you eat. That's um. I'll let you do the honors. I'm flipping this one. That's moving. Thank you, thank you. I'm happy to do the honors. Wow. Okay. I think I'm gonna wait a little bit. We could do another one at the same time. Like we have the big pan here. So, um, well, we already drew a carrot. We should draw some spinach. I won't. I won't ruin the. The carrot, don't worry. So these could be balloons or they could be spinach. Oh, spinach clog. And sometimes they're kind of. You gotta fill all the spinaches. It's kind of Jackson Pollock spinach, I think. Mm. Postmodern deconstructive chaos. I like it. I'm good at that. I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. Um, does that make Jeremy a pancake? Yes. Like that's. I mean, sorry. I just, like. That's what it means. You are what you eat, right? <laughs> That was a good one. Kim thought that was funny. Um, so this is spinach, and this is a carrot. And the last one we have to make is a peach. Okay. Okay, there's a carrot. And... Oh, the spinach is turning out well. Nice. The carrot flipped great. Kim asked how the carrot flipped. You probably inferred that. And uh, there we go. Here's a carrot. So, oh, I don't want to touch it now. Okay. And uh, we have to make a peach too. So here's the peach batter. So we'll make a peach out of the peach batter. So welcome to all the new viewers. Um, I just want to get you up to speed. Here's some carrot batter. Here's some peach batter, which looks really similar to the carrot batter, which is unfortunate. I knew I should have done like a beet batter or a blueberry batter. Like it would have really distinguished it with a nice dark purple or something, but alas. And um, here's a spinach batter. And uh, so 
three colors and a frying pan and here we go so we've already made like essentially the best pancake ever which was a jackson pollock pancake and it looks like not very much but then it actually has a picture of jackson pollock painting no jackson pollock painting this is his painting up here but the whole thing could be a jackson pollock painting really but then we also made a flower that fell apart and a butterfly that fell apart so didn't start off that well but that's okay and here's a carrot and spinach and you probably understand the theme that like well or the idea right like it's kind of like the the meta thing that's going on where the spinach is made using spinach batter and the carrot is made mostly using carrot batter and so now we will make a peach using peach batter I think these are good. I'm going to take the carrot off. Oh, I mean the spinach off like that. We lost the spinach, but that's pretty normal. Like how often do you pull spinach out of the container and you get all the spinach out in your hand? Like often you'll have a piece that falls. So, and I think this is still pretty good for oil. So here's a peach. It's kind of like the side view. perspective view I mean it's like a circle right it's like it's a peach I actually have a peach we could compare it to if we want we don't have to. Here's a comparative peach. Okay. Let's add some dark spots. Uh, it's kind of hard to see, isn't it? The lighting's a bit intense in here. And uh, no, there's no green. Oh, let's dim the lights, sure. Some mood, mood lighting. Do peaches grow on trees? I think so, so we can add a little stem. I think that's what it looks like. Probably it's brown, but. Is that more? Looks like a pancake now. Give it a leaf and a stem. See, I kind of thought that they had leaves and stems. Okay, stem and a leaf. Oh, the dimming is, is good, I think. Thanks. Is it dim enough? I think so. There's a little, it's a bud on the side. And here's a better leaf. I think it's dim enough. Thanks. Kim's dimming the lights so that we can see it better. Okay. So. Amazing how pancake art mimics nature. Look at that. So similar. Okay, so I'll put the peach back. And the reason we use the peach is because the peach actually was made mostly using peach batter, which is kind of cool. So it's pancake batter, but you take out the, the white sugar and you just add peach blend, kind of peach puree. And it should give it the sweetness that it needs. Um, and a different color and... Uh, Makes it delicious. And I think my problem I realize now is that I didn't really connect the stem and the peach well enough. I guess that's what happens when you pick it off the tree, probably. I've never done it, but now I'm going to... I didn't lose it. I didn't lose it. I, I lost it a little bit, but that's pretty good. That's a peach. Wonderful. Well, I think we should get on to another one. So um, we're eating these, by the way, which is the wonderful part of this. doesn't matter how bad to make it look. You can still eat it. I think we should start by getting um, getting the leftover carrot batter out of here, out of this bowl. So here's a bowl. 
uh, with leftover carrot batter that we didn't pour into the squeeze bottle. And uh, why are we doing this, by the way? Like the, the carrot thing in the middle here, or just like in general, you might be wondering that, but why are we doing this? Because we're going to be inspired again by what we see in front of us. That worked really well for the Jackson Pollock um, masterpiece. And so have some orange. Um, and I think we're just gonna make a nice looking thing just kind of make it look interesting so we'll add some stuff around it probably my arm isn't in a very good spot hey if i move it over a little bit and we'll just do some rings it'll look kind of interesting it's kind of like an avocado with a very large pit or it's like a fried egg with guacamole around it or something. That's what it is. That's look, that looks pretty nice. Probably want to see it. It looks like a fried egg. It definitely does. Oh, I'll make a fried egg and bacon next. That's a good idea. Okay. Get set up again. And um, suggestions are welcome again. Um, just want to emphasize that. Um, gonna go ahead and take our uh, take our peach off. The peach was pretty well done there, oh, but it doesn't look too bad. And I think our fried egg with guacamole can be flipped. That looks a lot like a fried egg. I just have to say. Um, okay. I think I should write something, like, uh, in letters. Okay. Oh, wait, what were you going to do before? Didn't we have a brilliant idea? Well, it doesn't matter anymore. Okay. Oh, we need more oil, maybe. No, we don't. Not very good at writing upside down cursive, so the Y kind of messed up, but it's my name. All right, so that was not very creative. Um, if you want your name written in pancake art, you can request that, and uh, we'll see what happens. And we have to fill it in. Oh, I should have written it backwards. Because now when we flip it over, it's going to be right side up. I mean, it's going to be in, like, well, it will be on top, but it'll be... Um, like mirror mode, you know? I need a mirror to hold up to it now. I don't have a mirror, so, oh well. This is a lot of spinach batter to just cover something with. Kind of looks like Newfoundland. Like, not really, but a little bit. No, it looks like that island, like Great Britain, right? Do you think? Maybe. Okay, this guy's going to be burning. No, not bad, but just done. And that, oh, I flipped it onto it. But that looks pretty good, though, I think, on this side. Just got to let that fry off a little bit there. That'll be good. I would call this a success. It's a fried egg with guacamole. Okay. And now this is the one where we're going to have a, an inverted, or a mirrored spelling of my name. Just kind of a messed up Y as well, but... It's 
It's pretty cool, hey? Um, it's a nice idea, I think, but kind of looks unintelligible suddenly. Well, we could just write something else. Like, what else we write? We write pancake. We should write a word art. That seems good. And then I think it'll be about time to to end it for today. We've been through a lot already together. In this last hour, we've made a lot of wonderful art. Okay, well, that's fine. The A's kind of, the carrot's plugged again. Can you imagine that? That's okay. Oh, we have to do it backwards. I forgot. A... It's too late now. I already drew the A over there. A. Ah, oh, we'll just do another mirrored art. Hmm. Art. And we'll cover it in green. Oh, no, but the green's plugged. Oh, no, the green's not plugged. I'll give it a border. It's kind of cool. And then we'll, um, so it's like a license plate actually. Uh oh, got to pull this one up. Oh, that was pretty good. So that was just my name written in mirror mode. I think Ginger wants to say hi or a pancake. She might want a pancake, but she probably wants to say hi too. So I think it's time. Uh oh, Kim wants uh, yeah, you can have a pancake. Oh here's Ginger. Ginger, come back. Aw. Oh, look, that was really mad. You could see it on here, too. Okay. Yeah, you can eat the carrot. Kim's going to eat the carrot. So we drew a carrot earlier in carrot batter. So I think the next one we do is going to be the last pancake, the final pancake. Kim's eating the carrot. How's the carrot, Kim? It's a little bitter, actually. It's a little bitter. We could have foreseen this. We didn't include any sugar. Um, okay, we'll work with that for next time. But we can we actually have some toppings. We can add blueberries and peaches to it, and that'll save it. Oh, and we're going to flip our license plate that says art backwards. This doesn't say it backwards. It says it mirrored. This turned out pretty well. Art. So as you can see... I don't have a lot of brilliant ideas for what to write, so I wrote art. Um, and it's kind of backwards, as you can also see. Well, it's not again, it's not backwards. It's just written mirrored from right to left, because upside down, it looks correct. But then upside down, it'll also just be all green. That's OK. All right, one more pancake coming up, and it's the final one. So it turns out pancake art's actually pretty hard. That's what I'm concluding here. I agree. Kim agrees, but she drew a pretty nice carrot. Um, I think it to come out in a consistent line. Okay, hard to get it to come out in a consistent line. That's something to work on for next time. But I think, um, in summary, I think we should probably draw another word I, I don't know what I'm yeah I, th I think we will draw another word let's see we got it worked out last time this one if we can squeeze it hard enough will it come out no it's really stuck in there so this the carrot one is stuck it got jammed got something stuck in there it's too bad hmm it's tricky
Well, maybe we'll just go like this. like that you can draw a B and then it'll turn out right okay so what are we writing for the last one well of course Today's Wednesday, so I thought we'd write Wednesday, and then because we can, I thought we would just do the Wi-Fi logo, because I can see it on my screen, and it's something I can just copy, so why not? Um, it's not a very good Wi-Fi logo, I'll be honest. And then... Cover everything in a film and then we'll flip it over and we'll see it on the other side. So this is the final pancake. And I just want to thank everyone for watching and joining. It's been an hour of good pancake making, good hanging out. We're almost out of the spinach batter, so it's perfect timing. So there's a Wednesday banner. I think we can flip over the Wi-Fi logo. Well, there you have a Wi-Fi logo or a couple lines and a dot. Um, and we'll give this a second to solidify a little bit and then we'll give it a flip over and we'll have a Wednesday banner because today is Wednesday so we gotta celebrate Wednesday try to give this a flip here that worked pretty well all things considered ow that was pretty hot I touched it don't touch hot things okay Wednesday and this is kind of symbolic as well in the true nature of art in that Wednesday is right in the middle so this is the break right here we're through this half and we have this half to go of the week, of the week, like through the half of the week and one more half of the week to go. So I think we'll take the Wi-Fi logo off and it's probably done. It's kind of cute. And then we'll take the rest of it off. So, so in conclusion, I just want to encourage everyone that if you're on Facebook commenting, I'm sorry that I didn't see your comments. Because I didn't. Um, 
but I just saw them now and I just, you know, wonderful to see so much um, pancake engagement. And uh, here's, here's Wednesday. So here's to Wednesday. This was Wednesday and Wednesday is almost done. Thursday's around the corner. And we'll just, uh, we'll just wrap it up there. So